haven't seen anybody on TikTok talk about how Muslim children, Muslim girls, are being forced to cover up and how that creates conditions like this peronia, where essentially she has so much pain when she grows up during intimacy, during sex. Even though she loves her man, she can't even have sex with him. And that's because of this purity culture and this shame culture that has been sort of forced upon a little child that doesn't even understand the concepts of intimacy, of sex, of lust, but has always been told that, oh, your body is a source of fitna, cover up. She doesn't even understand it. Her nervous system just understands that my mom is angry. She's talking about this angry God that is going to punish me and throw me in hell. And men are, you know, the world is dangerous and my body is dangerous, man. These are children, for flip's sake. These are children. This is not okay. This is not appropriate, man. You destroy and when she then grows up and, you know, unfortunately, I'm going to be very honest, they are also very problematic hadiths as well, where essentially if she does not have sex with her husband, well, apparently if she denies it for whatever reason, <laughs> you know, then people say, oh, you know what? Well, well, now the angel is going to curse you all night. Subhanallah. So on one side, she's been blamed by her, shamed by her parents and then she grows up, she can't even have sex. She can't even enjoy sex. And then, even her denying it, well, apparently now she has to deal with the blame that now the angels are going to curse her all night. We have actual issues, man. And I, do, I feel we are always focusing on the wrong issue. We have to focus on the nervous system challenges because the nervous system does not forget. The nervous system, the trauma stays in the nervous system that a child experiences all the, you know, until they die, until they do, you know, these uh, practices of releasing.